My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Skye in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Carlo and I have come to a local garden centre and the hydrangeas are in bloom and they're absolutely fantastic. Look at this. They are beautiful and there is so many of them. They go on and on all the way down and they change colours as you go along. Look at that. And there's more. Stunning. And this one too. This is purple basil. It smells amazing. It smells very basil-y, but I've never seen a purple one before, so I'm buying that for Luca. And then we have some sea lavender, which I've never seen before, which flowers all summer until autumn. We have a beautiful rose. This is called Double Delight and it has the most incredible perfume. It's beautiful. And then we have Carlos Choice, which is. Come si chiama? Questo l'ho scelto io. Sai come si chiama? Me l'ha detto già dimenticato. I can't remember what it's called, but we don't know where we're going to put that. But that is what we have bought at the garden centre today. Okay. Dove è mettere questa pianta? Lungo qua? No. No. Questa è arrampica. Sì, questa si arrampica. Diciamo che io ho già un'idea, però magari... Allora, la mia idea era di metterla qua, su quest'albero qui. Cioè, non lo so quanto terreno ho qua, però io faccio un buco qua. Cioè, la fai... E poi la faccio arrampicare sopra l'albero. Così. Yeah. What do you think? You like it there? I think it looks good there, especially yeah. if it's going to climb up that tree. E poi? Se va a prendere un vaso più grande e appoggiarla lì, lì dietro. E che adesso non possiamo scavare un buco, altrimenti roviniamo tutti i fiori e non lo voglio fare. Look at all my little wild flowers that are coming out. Starting to look amazing down here. Io lo sapevo che ce n'era un altro, guarda qua. Vai. Andiamo. Allora, dove lo vorresti questo? Sì, c'è un buco qua in giro, forse c'è un buco là, con spazio vuoto. Non lo so, io non ce la vedo bene per niente qua. Diciamo che questo potrebbe andare bene qui. Sì? Perché? Quando c'è un spazio grande qua, tu vuoi mettere là? Non capisco. Sì, lì, cioè, tu pensi proprio come le persone che non capiscono un cazzo di piante. Allora, questa è una pianta grande, questo crescerà grande. Se la metti sotto questa, che, che fa? Non va bene. L'altra dove la volevi mettere? In mezzo là. In mezzo qua. Se la, no, se no, la abbassi 20 non... centimetri, non funziona, no. capisci che sto dicendo? Questo è un qualcosa che ci deve andare un altro vaso dentro. E dove, dove la vogliamo mettere? Non lo so. Non vuole che muore? No, non, de non deve morire. Perché lo vuoi far morire? Mamma mia, come sei... Mm. Bello, no? Adesso pensiamo dove... Mm. <laughs> ok, ora la posso... Well, they are having their little discussion there. Let's admire these before they start falling because they are in full bloom now and I think soon they will start shriveling up and then they will be gone. So today me and Nicola are going for a walk on the beach and we're probably going to have breakfast there and we'll take you with us. It's sunny at the moment but there are some dark clouds down there and I'm pretty sure it's raining. Also on the other side, it doesn't look very good. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> decided to go for round two because we're still hungry. Quite a few people. Me and Nicole are here just for a quick swim and we're probably going to go up soon to have lunch but we're going to enjoy it while we can. Carl, I just found a starfish. Very rare. I don't actually see these very often here unless I'm looking for them. Pack away and we're gonna go have lunch. Yay! So, a few people have asked me over the last few weeks if they can send me stuff, and I usually say no. Now, in the last couple of months, I've said yes to three people, and I'm now regretting it because nothing has arrived. I have been sent tracking details. So we, we're having a big problem with the post here. I'm not quite sure why, but nothing is arriving. I have four packages on their way to me. One of them was last seen on the 17th of May in Milan. One of them was last seen on the 23rd of May in Milan. A handwritten lesson from England, which never arrived, and uh, a couple of packages from Greece, which haven't arrived. And this is why I say to people, no, don't send me anything because it just doesn't arrive. And I don't want to give anybody blame, but it seems like it gets to Italy absolutely fine. And then it becomes lost somewhere in the Italian postal system. It's very frustrating, um, especially when I order stuff myself and it never arrives because I'm spending money and other people are spending money. Looks like some postal worker is enjoying the benefits of that. So I just wanted to quickly say that. And if any of you who have sent me stuff are watching, I'm really, really sorry. I have been to the post office, I've talked to them, I've begged them, I've pleaded, and they say there's absolutely nothing they can do. It's completely out of their hands. One of the downfalls of living in Italy. We were having lunch about 40 minutes ago and we decided that straight after lunch we would get ready and we would go and meet Elizabeth in Preano. And 40 minutes later I come out and find him doing that. That is not getting ready to go to Preano. We are quite late. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Now where's he going? Dove sono? Sono le tre e un quarto. Le tre e un quarto? Sì. Ma così, eh? dobbiamo andare allora. Ah! Andiamo? Sì. Ma ah. questa madonna mia. Che demoni di guarda, siamo ancora prima. He has been looking at his watch wrong all afternoon apparently. He was convinced it was an hour earlier than it actually was and that is why we are now late. <laughs> Look at his hair. I gave him a haircut this morning. It's much better. Now I know that some people are in a little bit of confusion about where we live in, com in where we live in confront. Can't say it in English. Where we live in comparison to the road level. Our house is 465 steps up. Do I say motorino? It's 405, 465 steps up to Monte Betuso. That's the nearest road, 465 steps up from the house. We have just walked down from the house and this is roughly seven to eight hundred steps down to the Amalfi Coast road level and then to get to the beach it's another couple of hundred steps. So it's about a thousand steps down to the beach. I've never actually managed to count it all in one go because I lose count or bump into somebody I know and start talking and then forget. Anyway, now we are finally on our way to Preano. Okay.
Elizabeth's chickens. I'm actually standing on the roof of their house at the moment. Sono curiosi. Perché abbiamo un sacco di zucchine. Ma tu ce l'hai le zucchine a casa? Sì. Ok. Questa abro tini cosa? Kiki. Kiki? Sì. Come vedere uno? Oh. I have the solution. Here we go. Uh, one, one, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six. Good. And the left. Seven. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> very, very full. We have decided it is the perfect time of day to go and get ice creams at the Bar de Sole in Preano. My grandissimo, che sapore, eh?